Hey everyone, this is Evo and welcome back to today's AFK journey video. So we are back again on Sahara and pardon me if my camera looks a little bit different because my webcam actually went down on my PC so I have to use my laptop for this recording. So the color saturation is a little bit different if uh, you guys notice any uh, difference from the usual recording. And before I begin, uh, there's a few issues I would like to address. So number one, I saw quite a few people recommending me to do some free to play suggestions which I will recommend later. But for this boss specifically, or for this game mode specifically, um, it's not actually the most free to play like friendly game mode because uh, you need to have some of the least invested unit by a lot of people. So I'll just take this uh, best formation from my team to showcase to you guys. So uh, my friend over here, GG Guo Wang, right, 39.5 build is running a full physical team with Kruger, right? Right, with Shakir, with Seth, Mikola, as well as our dear Reese over here. So Reese is definitely not a unit that I think a lot of people would have invested in because um, this unit is a pretty mid unit and amongst all the other S level uh, molar units, we have better options like Shakir as well as Elsa, which are both like I'll say like better options. And then the other slot is used for Smokey, right? So you don't actually have a choice, and that's why I don't think a lot of people will have Reese invested. So I will showcase my team because I also don't have Reese, and I'll be using Brutus in Reese place because uh, I have Brutus built up for my PV content previously, and I'll be using that. And uh, depending on your team and depending on where you are, for the free to play players, what I'll suggest is make use of your best units i think the tier of your units will be of the higher priority but there are certain units which are generally not good for this boss itself so i'll use my own account to showcase that so if we go into my own account right here you guys can see that my reese as well as my elsa is not supreme plus compared to my other units so if you're talking about like the best damage range Right, usually you want to use your supreme unit, your supreme plus unit, or even at least having the unit to mythic plus to unlock the EX weapon. So for me over here, I have a choice for the physical team between Brutus as well as a, uh, I'll say like low tier Reese, which is what I'm going to try. So I'm going to put both of them and then showcase the damage difference. Starting with Reese, which is my friend's most optimal team combination with a level 27 quick blade spell right so crit base spell is for physical damage for crit as well as attack plus as well as the physical defense reduction if you're in the song of strife season so if you are in the pre-season itself the best artifact for the five unit team will be starshot spell because you have five units spamming their skills allowing you to proc the starshot ability more often to do more true damage so this is definitely the best for the five unit squad and then for the magical team let me just switch the thing right for the magical team i'm running uh my best damage team is actually Satrana together with OD as well as Smokey at the corner with Crescent Spell. So this is the magical energy op attack with the ability to deal magical defense debuff as well as having the stat which is known as attack percentage as well as defense penetration which affects magical damage as well so this is the magical team and this is the physical team so this is my best team setup i will do two tries right one with brutus and one with rice and then for the magical team uh, i will just keep it constant because i've tried multiple times and this is the best setup for me okay so without further ado let's start this run okay so for this team over here because my rice my reese right the 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 spiky hair a spiky hair bird riding molar character right there as you guys can see doesn't have legendary plus so he doesn't have the crit damage bonus which is i'll say like quite a big portion of the damage so if you want to use him i think minimally right in terms of getting the optimal damage it would be at least uh legendary plus so that this unit gets the hero focus which is a crit damage boost which will definitely increase the damage quite a bit for this unit specifically and obviously if you can get the mythic plus for the ex weapon or even supreme plus for more stats itself that will be greatly appreciated but if that is if you want to use this unit right if you have him because if you have him but he's at a really low tier obviously he's not going to do that much damage because this that uh, this unit is a carry and i think for carries most of the time if you want to do high damage you need the stats to do it in the first 
first place so that's for the risk recommendation so if you have a low tier risk as well as a low tier brutus i think in most cases a low tier brutus will be better because brutus offers a physical defense down as well as a little bit of damage and if you're in the sword of strike season brutus seasonal skill is a physical attack up for your whole team so that's something which i think reese cannot do right if your reese is at a is at a really low tier because your reese is not going to do that much damage at a low tier and he doesn't really provide much for the other teammates itself whereas units like satrana as well as uh, brutus right here they are units that can function at a lower tier right for this boss specifically because their main role is not damage their main role is to boost the damage of other units so that's why my satrana is the better combination for me because uh, she's at a higher tier which means that she will do a little bit more damage and at the same time she's also able to boost the damage of od as well as my energy op coming up from the crescent spell artifact as you guys can see from the uh, udama rasengan coming up from the the hero over here the super double big ball so this ball deals magical damage and it applies a magical defense debuff on the boss as well. Okay, so about 12.7 build. Okay, so this is my damage range for this boss. So 30.31. Okay, so this is with a legendary risk without the hero focus. So this is quite a big boost by the way. Crit damage boost is quite big to give you like I'll say at least a few hundred. At least a few more build worth of damage or 0. Point something build worth of damage. Okay. So this is not the best team. My best team is the one with Brutus like I mentioned earlier. So let me put in Brutus. Okay. So for Brutus case right for those of you guys who are not familiar with this unit. I think most of you guys probably know this unit for the indomitable right for this uh, immunity to damage itself but brutus actually has a physical defense reduction from the second skill right ferocious raw it's not a consistent one but it's still a physical defense reduction for your team to do more damage and then we have whirlwind wrath which is the aoe damage so uh, brutus and the team doesn't do that much damage so this is not like the most impactful part of the kit i think for the most impactful part of brutus kit is actually the ferocious raw as well as the black uh blade last blade i mean blood last blade <laughs> sorry for the mispronunciation so right here as you guys can see right so this is uh additional physical damage increase on the adjacent enemy so I'll, I'll do this and then i'll showcase the damage run wait why is it equipped with this unit oh oops okay so some of you guys might be wondering should i use coco right should i use antendra so if you are having issues surviving coco and antendra will be pretty decent especially coco because coco is a unit which i think a lot of free to play players would have invested and if you have coco at least at mythic plus right and you have issues surviving then use coco instead but for me as you guys can see i have no issues surviving so coco is not going to give me more damage because coco is fundamentally a more defensive smaller character which means that i have better options to boost my damage so this is a very similar game mode to dream realm you survive long enough to deal damage and right if you have no issue surviving then you don't need that many defensive units that's why i'm not using coco neither am i using antendra because those units are defensive they don't give me more damage damage okay okay so this rng of the boss borrowing and you losing damage here and there is one thing to consider but we are doing a little bit more 19 build right here 19.2 build very very nice now let's move on to the magical side i think the outcome should be the same so i'm gonna skip it okay oh wow i just beat my personal record once again nice okay but i mean my personal best was 32 build so i get another 0 0.5 build to push my rank even further but yeah this is my damage uh, setup so for the physical team i think there is going to be some variance in terms of the damage because uh, most of these units they are melee so where your mikola reposition right where your shakir reposition how much aura coverage your uh, mikola and shakir has on your team is going to affect your final damage run to some extent because if mikola and shakir is always centralized then there will be a lot of units getting buffed and then that's where everyone's going to hit harder and then do more damage whereas if let's say your shakir is all the way on the left side or mikola is all the way on the right side or vice versa then you're going to lose a little bit of damage there obviously because your other units that are not covered by the aura is no not going to get the damage boost itself okay so those are the few things to consider for this squad and in the next few days i'll definitely do more coverage in terms of um how to optimize your damage for this boss moving forward once we got the teams ready and then we'll talk about how what are the ways you can use or what are the things you can abuse to do more damage for set sahara itself okay so do stay tuned do remember to like and subscribe to see more thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys again in my next video
See ya.